A Trip to the Moon is a French film that was released in 1902. Georges Malaise was the producer, the writer, everything. He's even in it. <laughs> now, this is based off of Jules Verne novels, not an actual novel. Trust me, for years, I thought that it was based off of an actual Jules Verne. Me being a Jules Verne fan, I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but it's based off of the uh, futuristic uh, space uh, Jules Verne novels, and there's also the idea that it could be also based off of H.G. Wells' uh, novels also. Now, this is... Um, an international success. Unfortunately, it was pirated by other studios. Here in America, <laughs> the, the, the piracy was out of control with this one. This was such a success. Um, now, um, Edison, pirated this thing and even had the audacity to say that it was his film and because of that um there was an american branch of course uh george malaise i i did a video on george malaise and he had his own theater over in france well he made what was known as the Star Film Company here in America, in New York, and his brother Gaston ran the company to keep an eye on Edison. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, there was one American who did give credit and he was the owner of the Electric Theater. I believe that was in San Francisco, but I will double check and put it in the description box. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that by now we know the concept of this film. The idea is for this capsule to go to the moon and see, and these scientists are going to go see what is at the moon. And, um, well, the film disappeared after uh, George Mutlez retired. And then it reappeared around the 30s, somewhere around in the 30s. As it happens, the hand-colored print uh, was discovered in 1993. I was in middle school at that time. <laughs> I think I was in sixth grade at that point. Um, so there's two different, it's the black and white. The black and white was well known until uh, the early 90s when they suddenly discovered, and I couldn't find exactly how they discovered it. It just said, yeah, we found it. <laughs> um, so if you know how they found it, I would love to know. Um, the capsule landing in the moon's eye, which, by the way, that is Georges Malez, who is the man in the moon. The, the bullet in the eye, uh, which, yes, the capsule looks like a bullet. <laughs> uh that is considered the most iconic scene in cinema history. And much of the cost for this film went to mechanical operated uh, scenery and to the costumes, which are amazing, by the way. I love these costumes. I, when you watch this, I mean, from the uh, the astronomers to the fanfare, seeing the the capsule off, and then of course all the uh, 
people on the moon and and everything. I mean, just everything. I mean, George Melez went all out for this one. And um, so some of the special effects, of course, is um, uh, splice technique and transitional dissolves. And again, this was in 1902, remember? And he's, he's doing these multiple exposures, transitional dissolves, and the splice technique. So <laughs> again, I hate CGI. <laughs> Let's go back to some of this stuff. <laughs> they could do this in 1902, we can do it again. Now, the funny thing is that with as popular as it, even today, I mean, in, in 2022, so what is that, uh, 120 years? Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll, I'll check the math on that. Math is not my strong suit. <laughs> George Melez himself felt like this film was not his best, but it was his masterpiece which I find that interesting. I tried to find which one he thought was his his best film, and I, I couldn't find, um, but you have to think about it, um, because of how much the, the piracy was on this, maybe that kind of factored into it. He, he just kind of got exhausted with trying to <laughs> take care of that darn Edison. <laughs> of course, Edison was not the only one, so he does get kind of a pass on that. But um, he didn't receive very much profit off of this because of the piracy, so that's too bad. But um, <laughs> I, I just find it hilarious that Edison tried to take full credit for this and that resulted in his in Melez's brother uh, and them opening up a studio and then guest on basically watching like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens. You know, well, that's for another time. Anyway, so A Trip to the Moon. This is one of my favorites, and I'm sure it's for a lot of silent film enthusiasts. This is they're in their top top 10 or top three it doesn't matter <laughs> george malez was the producer the writer he's in it um it's inspired by jules verne novels even hg wells uh, it was huge success in its day it's still a huge success the the bullet in the eye and, and the man in the moon's eye is considered the most iconic in cinema history. And um, I mean, I can't say anything wrong about this film. <laughs> I absolutely love it. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of science fiction. I consider this one of the first science fiction films. And um, so, but Anyway, so that's a trip to the moon. It was released in 1902.